out his folks out with that. <coughs> Join me on the hottest day of the year so far. It's about 36 degrees at the minute. Just turn this tractor off. I was going to go off with this, with the baler, but um, I'm going to go and take, uh, oh, take the little tractor, a little 6020 and the tag trailer to the combine and probably bring the, the other one, the other trailer back, I should think. But yeah, it's hot. It's effing hot. Alright, now this tractor's got pretty good air con. It's cooling down quite nicely, but better than that, this little tractor, as you can see, put that little sign down there. has got opening front windscreen. Yeah, boys. Get that branch out of the way. That is the way to do it. I, mean, I, had to, I had to shut the front window because it's like you know when you got your, your fish and chips in the oven and you fan oven at about 2.30 um, and then you, you, know, you open the door up to give the chips a shake and flip the old fish over it's like that when you open the door and then you get hit by 230 degrees worth of heat blasted in your face which almost melts your eyeballs well that's what it's kind of like with that front window open at the minute because it's so hot out there it's like sticking your head in a fan oven so uh, I'm letting the air con do its job and it is doing a good job I am nice and cool in here but yeah bugger that is hot I mean a lot of people say oh yeah I love it like this 30 degrees that's beautiful no it isn't the only time 30 degree heat is any good is when you're in a swimming pool. It's not good when you've got a bloody work in it. It's not even good when you've got to do nothing in it or just sit in it. It's too hot to do anything. 25 is plenty, plenty hot enough, but 30, well, 35 is what it is today, 35, 36, it's just, yeah, too bloody hot. Thankfully, tomorrow it's back down to about 23, which is far more manageable. Far more manageable. Now, I can't understand these people that love it when it gets up to this sort of temperature. No spank you. Anyway, harvest update. Where are we? We are on a bit more wheat today. Um, I am going to go and bail this later on. Well, either after I've tipped this load or when Richard brings the baler down depends how full the trailer is so uh, I'll find out when we get there there's the combine over over there um, got Henry Henry's in today well not Henry himself but Harry's driving Henry's baler this year the old class 3300 um, that's in making some bows for us today. So we'll have them to cart. It would have been nice to get a bit of footage of, um, of him working, but uh, like I say, we're, we're busy ourselves, so. Um, I'll see if I can get a, a bit later on in the harvest um, when they're still going. I'll go and see Henry and Get a bit of his com, you know, a bit of a bit of him combining and bailing and that. But the only saving grace today is there's a um, a decent breeze. It's a bloody hot breeze, but it's a it's a breeze nonetheless. 
and I'd rather have moving hot air rather than still hot air, you know what I mean. If at least you can find a bit of shade, it's it's not so bad, is it? It's not so brutal. But uh, looking like it, the, um, the other trailer is full, so we'll dump this, take that back home, and jump on the old baler. Doesn't look like he's got a lot left, actually. On the other fields to do. Okay, that doesn't look too bad as well, that looks alright. It looks like there's a bit of straw in there. Yeah, ain't got a lot left at all, another four acres, five acres, something like that. There's the little beast, it is a little beast. That'll do. The thing with a common one like that, it don't touch the straw. Get a lovely bit of straw, of course straw is important for us. Oh god, look at that, not a cloud in the sky. Right, let's get swapped over. something bigger we wouldn't be able to we wouldn't get a lot further on because the combine will just end up waiting for trailers so as with any system any combine system you got everything's got to be matched up there's no point having a 30 foot lexion if you can't put it in the store quick enough to keep the combine going is there so um so yeah it's a good little good size little combine that is Ideal well, for us. Oh, I'll get me bang. More importantly, get me drinks. We can go and jump on the T7. Uh, I've got tea and I've got. I've, I've even got juice today. It's sort of juicy type weather, isn't it? Yeah, what's there? 13 acres here. Shouldn't take too long to. Oh, that's good. Shouldn't take too long to bail up. Oh, the only trouble with aircon is when you've got to get out of it. <laughs> that is the biggest downside of air conditioning, getting out of it. Oh, this track is going to be... going to be cooking. Yeah, we're getting, to be honest, we're getting on pretty well with our office. I don't know how many acres we've done, but... We've knocked a few fields out. One, two, three. What's this fifth field? Uh. Oh yeah, that's hot. Back 
Give me some air, calm. Oh, I'm back at the yard. Tip this load. Uh, it's going in one of them, one of them bins. Just got a increase the flows like that. It should go up a bit quicker now. Yeah. Yeah, we drop the. Oh, I was about. I was about better where I was when I got to come back a little bit more. I shouldn't have inched it forward. Yeah, we drop it into this little reception pit. And the auger that takes it up into the top of the bin. And that bit. About like that. top of the bin. We've got five bins as you can see. Oh, there you are. Quick bin, not a lot to it, but uh, I'm too up to care. Really am. I've got to say, the only good thing is tomorrow it's back down to sort of 23 odds. So, um, yeah, back to normal rather than this bloody fan oven type heat, eight, eight. Anyway, I'm going to tip this load, pull it around the baler, get up there and bail it. So anyway, enjoyed this little vid, Ooh, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!